my gosh, 31 shots is no joke, people. awesomeness with Botox for migraine so I am gonna ask my PA if she is okay with me videoing it so I can show you guys what happens and wish me luck bye oh my gosh 31 shots is no joke people so I got them all along here and there's like triangles in the back of my head and along my shoulders and my neck and I'll tell y'all more about it in a minute I'm glad it's done Botox is not for the faint of heart. Um, I went back to work after um, the appointment and um, my PA told me like even though like everything is gonna feel kind of like weird and stingy um, like you can't massage anywhere that you had the injections because it could move the Botox into places that it's not intended to go. Um, not that it would particularly hurt anything, but just the fact that it wouldn't do me as much good. Um, everything, like stuff stings every once in a while, like any of the places that I got shots. I'm gonna see if I can find some pictures and insert them here so you can see exactly where all the shots were. Um, because they're up here, um, they're around your ears on both sides. Um, there's like these triangle kind of shapes um, that are injected on the back of your head. And then it's down your neck, right along your spine, and then um, uh, across your shoulder as well, both sides. Um, so I had a headache to start the appointment. I had a worse headache leaving the appointment. By the time I got back to work, I had a full on migraine. So I ended up having to bomb that on top of all the other medication that was in my system. So then I started shaking uncontrollably and uh, it just makes me feel super oogie and out of it. And then you feel hung over from the pain and all the rest of the meds and everything that I had today, which was super, uh, just a ton of stuff. And then I get um, a phone call from dermatology when I'm on the way back to work. And the spot that I had biopsied um, on my back is skin cancer. And so now I have to wait for scheduling for dermatological surgery to call me so we can schedule having that removed. And I don't deal well with like the scrape biopsies or punch biopsies, any of that stuff. Um, no matter how much alcohol they use, I always get infections. So the spot on my back is already infected and they are, so they're going to cut it out, like really, really cut it out and then stitch me back together. Um, so hopefully the instance of infection will be less that way because any kind of infection is super hard on my body to clear, even with how many antibiotics I'm on because it's not for that kind of infection. Um, it has been a super long day and I am going to go crawl on the couch or in my bed or take a shower or do my exercises for the pot stuff. I'm not certain yet, but I'm going to stare at a wall for a minute too. So I hope you guys are having a better day. Hey you guys. Um, I wanted to give you a quick update on Botox. So I have to keep a headache log. Um... So we can see, you know, when it starts doing stuff and how it's doing and all that good stuff. Um, so it's been two weeks since I've had it and I've had headaches every day and I've had migraines a full week. Um, something that I wasn't expecting with the Botox, like you can tell that I can't like raise and whatnot my eyebrow um which I knew was gonna happen because she said I wasn't gonna be able to scowl at my, my kid anymore which was funny um 
And then, but something I really didn't anticipate is back here, like I had all the shots like up here, but then I had them like down my neck and then I had them on my shoulders too. And so the ones that I had right here, it's like, like my muscles are so weak. I mean, I know that's kind of like the point because it's supposed to take the tension out of your muscles. But with my malnutrition problems, I'm having trouble holding my head up. And it's almost like that's exacerbating the headaches because I'm having to like fight to keep my head up at the right angle. It's been a little weird. It's definitely not what I expected. So we'll see how it goes. I'll keep you posted. I'll talk to you later. And it was a Tuesday, even though it felt like Monday all day. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. So give the video a like and subscribe below. And I'll see you guys later.